Welcome to hole number 10, Gifts and Prizes. Remember, your event, your organization will be judged by the gifts and prizes you give out. Gifts and prizes are so important. In fact, in many cases, this is why golfers participate. They wanna come for the fun gifts and prizes that they give out. Plus, gifts and prizes can be a great marketing tool for your organization as well as your golf tournament. So let's talk about gifts and prizes. How important are they and how do we uh, utilize them to our advantage? First of all, the number one gift that you're gonna give out is called the tea package. Some people call it the goodie bag. It's the first thing that golfers receive when they arrive at your golf tournament. It's gonna be a package of goodies. And the most popular gifts that are given out is a shirt, a golf hat, golf balls, towel, golf glove, but these are items that golfers use, they love, and they'll keep coming back. So if we give those prizes out, they not only can have logos on them for your sponsors, but the golfers will love them and use them year after year and feel like they've gotten their value. The next set of prizes we need to give out are the games in the contest, the close to the pin, the long drive. Golfers love some fun stuff. It doesn't have to be expensive, but something of quality, anywhere in the $50 to $100 range. Maybe it's a box of golf balls. Maybe it's a, a putter or so, some golf hats and maybe rounds of golf. Golfers love that type of thing for your games and contests. And then finally, we have the actual winners, first, second, and third, whether that's flight A, B, or C, First, second, third, fourth, fifth, golfers love to win. And whether you have a handicap, net, or gross, they love to win first, second, third, not only for bragging rights, but for that gift and prizes. I would take a very uh, careful look at trophies, but trophies are mainly used for serious competitions. When we're doing a shotgun scramble for charity and a group team event just for fun, we need to look at gift items. That's what they love the best. So for first place, you want to look at four first place items for each team member. It's going to value anywhere from $100 to $150. It might be a putter, it could be a driver, it could be a golf bag, something of substance. But I want to encourage you not to have something too great, like a TV or a, a whole set of clubs, because then you get cheaters who want to uh, do anything it takes to win that prize. So uh, I, I say it's a prize worth competing for, but not a prize worth cheating for. So first place between $100 and $150 value. Second place team, four items for each team member, is going to be in the range of $75 to $100. Maybe that might be a putter, that might be a round of golf, a foursome of golf, something fun, uh, great value, but not as great as first place. Third place is going to be something in the uh, $50 to $75 range. Again, could be some golf gloves, golf hats, golf balls, things that golfers love, and you need four of them for third place. If you want to give fourth place, the more gifts, the better. If you can give fourth, fifth, and sixth, that would be great also. So those are some prizes that you want to focus on. Make sure that your committee is focusing on good, great gifts and prizes. You also want to take a look at the items that you give away in a raffle. Raffle is important. It can generate thousands of dollars. I like to have a lot of smaller items in the raffle. Anywhere, anything under $50, whether it's gift baskets, rounds of golf, go in the raffle. I try to get as many as possible and give out as many as possible because if everyone at the tournament can walk away with a gift, um, then everyone's happy. And I love to have people walk away as winners. I like to have one big item for the raffle. Maybe it's a trip. Maybe it's a uh, sports memorabilia, something of major value because then you can uh, sell your raffle tickets a, a little bit higher and more than a dollar, maybe $5 to $10 if that first grand prize is worthwhile. You also got to take a serious look at your auction items. We're going to go into detail about auction items, but they're going to be a little bit higher end items, your sports memorabilia, maybe some appliances, maybe uh, some trips, that type of thing. But lots of money can be made through an auction, which we're going to get into deal detail from. But many of you are, are wondering, Phil, how do we afford these gifts and prices? They're expensive and we don't have the money. We're, we're, we're a small organization with a small budget. So let me teach you how to get all the items that you want without coming out of pocket at all. And it's a very simple concept. Let's take, for example, a golf shirt. Let's say that you want to give every golfer a nice quality golf shirt that's sold in the pro shop for, for $100. Well, first of all, you can try to buy it from the manufacturer or wholesaler and get it at cost. That's very possible, especially with our GTAA preferred vendors. So let's say you find a quality golf shirt at the price of $25 and you need to buy a hundred of them. Well, that's a price tag of $2,500. You take, you, you include that price, $2,500 into the title sponsorship 
package. So for example, if your title, ship, title sponsorship package was 5,000, you had 2,500, now it's 7,500, but you promised the company that you're gonna put their logo on the front pocket of that golf shirt. I promise you, he's gonna get more excited knowing that everyone gets a $100 golf shirt on his behalf with his logo than he would with no golf shirt. So he'd be more than happy to paying that $7,500, which means you're gonna get a sponsor and your shirt's paid for. Follow that concept with all your gifts and prizes. In every sponsorship package, build the price of the item into the package, put their logo on it, they get paid, you get it paid for, they get the marketing exposure, it becomes a win-win. But don't forget, golf prizes at your tournament are very important. It's what golfers come for. So make sure that your committee focuses on good quality products, get them paid for by sponsors, and make sure everyone walks away a winner and you'll have a better golf tournament because of your gifts and prizes.